Location of Byzantium Byzantium or Byzantium was an ancient Greek city in classical antiquity that became known as Constantinople in late antiquity and Istanbul today. The Greek name Byzantium and its Latinization Byzantium continued to be used as a name of Constantinople sporadically and to varying degrees during the thousand-year existence of the Byzantine Empire. Byzantium was colonized by the Greeks from Megara in 657 BC, and remained primarily Greek-speaking until its conquest by the Ottoman Empire in AD 1453. The etymology of Byzantium is unknown. It has been suggested that the name is of Thracian origin. It may be derived from the Thracian personal name Byzus which means he goat. Ancient Greek legend refers to the Greek king Byzus, the leader of the Megarian colonists and founder of the city. The name Lygos for the city, which likely corresponds to an earlier Thracian settlement, is mentioned by Pliny the Elder in his natural history. Byzantios, plural Byzantio referred to Byzantians inhabitants, also used as an ethnonym for the people of the city and as a family name. In the Middle Ages, Byzantium was also a synecdoche for the Eastern Roman Empire. Dot. Byzantinos denoted an inhabitant of the empire. The Anglicization of Latin Byzantinus yielded Byzantine, with 15th and 16th century forms including Byzantan, Byzantine, Byzantin, and Byzantine as well as Byzantian and Byzantian. The name Byzantius and Byzantinus were applied from the 9th century to gold Byzantine coinage, reflected in the French Besant, Italian Byzant, and English Besant, Byzant, or Bezant. The English usage, derived from Old French Basan, and relating to the coin, dates from the 12th century. Later, the name Byzantium became common in the West to refer to the Eastern Roman Empire, whose capital was Constantinople. As a term for the East Roman state as whole, Byzantium was introduced by the historian Hieronymus Wolf only in 1555, a century after the last remnants of the empire, whose inhabitants continued to refer to their polity as the Roman Empire had ceased to exist. Other places were historically known as Byzantium, a city in Libya mentioned by Stephanus of Byzantium and another on the western coast. Of India referred to by the Periplus of the Eritrean Sea, in both cases the names were probably adaptations of names in local languages. Faustus of Byzantium was from a city of that name in Cilicia. The origins of Byzantium are shrouded in legend. Traditional legend says Byzus from Megara founded Byzantium in 667 BC when he sailed northeast across the Aegean Sea. The tradition tells that Byzus, son of King Nisus, planned to find a colony of the Dorian Greek city of Megara. Byzus consulted the oracle of Apollo at Delphi, which instructed Byzus to settle opposite the land of the blind. Leading a group of Megarian colonists, Byzus found a location where the Golden Horn, a great natural harbor, meets the Bosphorus and flows into the Sea of Marmara, opposite Chalcedon. He had judged the Chalcedonians blind not to have recognized the advantages the land on the European side of the Bosphorus had over the Asiatic side. In 667 BC he founded Byzantium at their location, thus fulfilling the oracle's requirement. It was mainly a trading city due to its location at the Black Sea's only entrance. Byzantium later conquered Chalcedon, across the Bosphorus on the Asiatic side. The city was taken by the Persian Empire at the time of the Scythian campaign of King Darius I, and was added to the administrative province of Scudra. Though Achaemenid control of the city was never as stable as compared to other cities in Thrace, it was considered, alongside Sestos, to be one of the foremost Achaemenid ports on the European coast of the Bosphorus and the Hellespont. Byzantium was besieged by Greek forces during the Peloponnesian War. As part of Sparta's strategy for cutting off grain supplies to Athens during their siege of Athens, Sparta took control of the city in 411 BC, to bring the Athenians into submission. The Athenian military later retook the city in 408 BC, when the Spartans had withdrawn following their settlement. After siding with Pescenius Niger against the victorious Septimius Severus, the city was besieged by Roman forces and suffered extensive damage in AD 196. Byzantium was rebuilt by Septimius Severus, now emperor, and quickly regained its previous prosperity. It was bound to Paranthus during the period of Septimius Severus. The strategic and highly defensible location of Byzantium attracted Roman Emperor Constantine I who, in AD 330, refounded it as an imperial residence inspired by Rome itself, known as Nova Roma. After his death the city was called Constantinople. This combination of imperialism and location would affect Constantinople's role as the nexus between the continents of Europe and Asia. It was a commercial, 
cultural, and diplomatic center and for centuries formed the capital of the Byzantine Empire, which decorated the city with numerous monuments, some still standing today. With its strategic position, Constantinople controlled the major trade routes between Asia and Europe, as well as the passage from the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea. On May 29, 1453, the city fell to the Ottoman Turks, and again became the capital of a powerful state, the Ottoman Empire. The Turks called the city Istanbul, the name derives from Istan Pauline. To this day it remains the largest and most populous city in Turkey, although Ankara is now the national capital. By the late Hellenistic or early Roman period, the star and crescent motif was associated to some degree with Byzantium, even though it became more widely used as the royal emblem of Mithridates Valupater. Some Byzantine coins of the 1st century BC and later show the head of Artemis with bow and quiver, and feature a crescent with what appears to be an eight-rayed star on the reverse. According to accounts which vary in some of the details, in 340 BC the Byzantines and their allies the Athenians were under siege by the troops of Philip of Macedon. On a particularly dark and wet night Philip attempted a surprise attack but was thwarted by the appearance of a bright light in the sky. This light is occasionally described by subsequent interpreters as a meteor, sometimes as the moon, and some accounts also mention the barking of dogs. However, the original accounts mention only a bright light in the sky, without specifying the moon. To commemorate the event the Byzantines erected a statue of Hecate Lampadephoros. This story survived in the works of Hesychius of Miletus, who in all probability lived in the time of Justinian I. His works survive only in fragments preserved in Phocius and the 10th century lexicographer Suetus. The tale is also related by Stephanus of Byzantium and Eustathius. Devotion to Hecate was especially favored by the Byzantines for her aid in having protected them from the incursions of Philip of Macedon. Her symbols were the crescent and star, and the walls of her city were her provenance. It is unclear precisely how the symbol Hecate slash Artemis, one of many goddesses would have been transferred to the city itself, but it seems likely to have been an effect of being credited with the intervention against Philip and the subsequent honors. This was a common process in ancient Greece, as in Athens where the city was named after Athena in honor of such an intervention in time of war. Cities in the Roman Empire often continued to issue their own coinage. Of the many themes that were used on local coinage, celestial and astral symbols often appeared, mostly stars or crescent moons. The wide variety of these issues. And the varying explanations for the significance of the star and crescent on Roman coinage precludes their discussion here. It is, however, apparent that by the time of the Romans, coins featuring a star or crescent in some combination were not at all rare. Thanks for watching.